is the top 10 best shows on MeTV, which stands for Memorable Entertainment Television. It is a channel where they show old TV shows, hence Memorable Entertainment Television. And it's <clears throat> and it's shown on cable, Time Warner Cable, channel 110, and Satellite 102, which is over the air too. Um, all these shows, they are better than the kid shows that they have on now. Well, some, most of them that they have on now. They don't try to, hard to be funny, so I'm actually just going to tell you what they're about. At number 10 is Hogan's Heroes, which is about World War II, where American soldiers get taken hostage in a Nazi's camp. And basically that. Um, Honeymooners, which is about a um, married couple having couple relationship. It was a short-lived sitcom. Um, they have a friends, and they always get into fights. Number eight is That Girl, which is a girl in New York City. Um, which is the daughter of Marlo Thomas, the owner of St. Jude's Children's Hospital. It's about a girl in New York City that becomes a, that's trying to become an actor. Seven, The Many Loves of Dobie Gillis, also called Dobie Gillis, which is about Do a, a kid named Dobie Gillis and his friend Mater G. Krebs that go to school, it's basically life of them you could say, and Gobi, Dobi, has the name, gets a lot of girls. Yeah, basically. Number six is My Three Sons, which is about a father raising three sons of his own, don't know other names. I think Chip, Ernie, yeah. and, um, don't know the, uh, the older guy's name, but they live in the same house, and it's him raising them, which... Then the older one gets married and has a baby, and they're all guys in the house besides the guys' wife. Five is Petticoat Junction and Beverly Hillbillies. These two are tied. Petticoat Junction is about a family running a hotel, and I think it's in Petticoat Junction. Um, and it's about their guests. And it's a spin-off between the Beverly Hillbillies and another show called The Green Acres, which isn't in here, because I've never seen that show. Hillbillies, which is about a family of hillbillies that move into Be Beverly Hills and man try to manage their life the way they usually do around Beverly Hill folks. Number four is MASH, Mobile Army Surgical Hospital. Which is stand for? It's about a Korean War. It's about um. Oh, uh, what was it? A hospital. They um that do surgeries on people, and it's pretty funny. Um, number three is Make Room for Daddy, which is about, or it's also a Danny Thomas show, which is about a dad who marries a. Um, a mother of one, and the dad has two children, and they coexist in the same family, and that's basically that. Um, number two, I Dream of Jeannie, which is about a NASA person, a NASA officer, who goes on space and his, his um, rocket crash lands into an unknown island, and he finds a bottle with a genie in it. Tries to get rid of her in the first episode, but then keeps her. And he now has to live his life with the genie. And who causes him all sorts of trouble. A bee witch, which is a witch who marries a mortal. And has two kids. Not until later in this series, but... He has two kids, one with magic and one not with magic. And the witch's family always uh, messes around with her boyfriend, Darren. And so, that's what that's about. 
cap is one Bewitched, two I Dream of Genie, three Make Room for Daddy, four Mash, five Petticoat Junction, Beverly Hillbillies, six My Three Sons, seven Seven The Money Loves Adobe Gillis or Adobe Gillis, eight That Girl, The Honeymooners is number nine, at number ten is Hogan's Heroes. So, ladies and gentlemen, please try this channel out and see if you like it. If not, it's you don't like watching and that's it thanks for watching bye